Today's all about Tap Performance's Z-Rings with Torque Cones. That's right. I went down to Ocean City, Maryland. I spoke to Tap down there. I was hoping they had them, but they didn't. So when I got home, I ordered them. And they've been sitting in the garage here for a week, trying to get to them. I got other stuff going on. So we're gonna handle this together. Uh, I already did one, and the audio on that just crapped out. So, we're gonna do the other one together and hopefully the audio here is better. So, let's get on it and we'll go over the list of tools needed and the quickest and easiest way to do it. All right, so what do we need to do this job? Okay, we're gonna need a 3 sixteenths, I'm sorry, 5 32nds uh, Allen wrench we got to take off these two. There's one here on the inside on each muffler and one on the bottom. These screws that hold in the end cap. And we're not going to reuse the screws, but we are going to reuse the washers. So keep that in mind when you're doing this project. And it's a pretty simple project. I didn't need the lift, but it makes my life that much easier. So what you got to do is take those out and you're going to just wiggle your end cap out. You're gonna grab your tap performance Z-ring with the torque cone. Now, what good is that, you ask? Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I am going to put up a, a picture here. Okay, guys, you've seen that picture. It's got all the dyno sheets that uh, Tab has done. And uh, so, you know, I'm sure that everything will be, you know, perfect with these things. And a little bit of a wrestle to get in and get straight, because there are holes on this that you have to line up, because there's a total of four threaded holes within the Z-rings that you have to line up. And let me get them lined up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so when you look at it, you, there's a, a non-threaded hole here, one there, and one there. So what you want to do is line those up with the four holes that are on your, your end cap to the best you can. So when you go ahead and install this, because they give you two set screws to put in. And what, what do these set screws do? These set screws actually help hold the Z-ring in place. And you know, we're gonna have to put some Loctite on them. But I will do that after I get everything here lined up. I know you guys can't see much, I'm, I apologize. All right, so that one is not lined up. So let's try our best here to line it up. And there you go. So we're going to use it on the top. And the other set screw will go on the outboard side of the uh, exhaust tip. So when you have the inboard and bottom part of the screws that hold in your end cap, all four of these holes are set to hold in. Oh, here, I'm not even showing you guys. I apologize. Got him. What a piece of trash I am. All right, so we're not lined up completely yet. So let's loosen up the other one because this is got to come out just to here. So let's get something to tap it. There you go, a little tap. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. What movie is that from, guys? Gotta give it a tap. A little tippy, tippy tap. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Come on, we all know what movie that's from. That's a hilarious movie. Give you a hint, Adam Sandler. <laughs> all righty, so that's all set. And you can see this is a pretty easy project. All right, so now we're gonna put our end cap in and we're gonna line up our 
bolt holes so we can put the longer screws provided by tab in there okay trying to get everything here lined up is not always the easiest but we'll get it oh. need the washer and when I'm done you guys heard what it sounded like before after I did these mufflers and we'll do it again with these torque cones installed I took the saddlebags off as a precaution you don't have to because it's easy to get to the two screws you need to take off the uh, I'm having a hard time finding the hole <laughs> alrighty there we go so well, like I was saying, I was doing that just to protect my saddlebags because, you know, these CVO paint jobs aren't easy to come by and probably getting another one painted if I scratch it or get it touched up. Forget about it. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're almost done here, guys. We're almost ready to hear this thing fired up. And I am going to go on a whim here. All right. I'm going to go out on a take a leap of faith here from Tap Performance. Um, I believe in their products. I love their products. They have not paid me to say any of this, nor have they given me these torque, uh, Z rings with the torque cones. But I believe in their products, and their products always sound good and they always work. So we are ready. Yes, we are. To hear it. So I'll fire it up, guys. Tell me what you think. did not hear any difference in sound uh, you guys tell me what do you think I think they still sound just as good as they did before them but we'll see how the performance works out all right let me turn this camera on to me all right guys hey let me know what you think of these uh, Z rings with the torque cones from tap performance also if you like this video and you like to see more videos like that, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to check out the video. I'm going to link it up here for the knife giveaway, which you'll find that in the Ocean City, Maryland Bike Fest video. All right, guys, as always, live the best life you can. Ride often and ride hard. Thank you.